So I commented out the drawing of everything except the plane. We're going to do lighting, and I want to just do lighting with the plane, and then later on we'll add the arrow and everything else in there. I'll control F5 this. We see nothing because I have to fly the camera up to see the plane. I think that's going to be a pain in the neck to have to fly my camera up every time I want to look at that plane. So I'm actually going to fly the camera up and back it out a little bit, move it down like so and get the camera kind of where I would like it and then a cheap debugging trick you can do if I can get this lined up how I want it is to go over here and in my paint GL method I believe we ask the camera world to view matrix yes I'll put a breakpoint there alt tab and I don't know if you saw that, but I we that popped up the window and thus caused faint GL to happen again. Now we're here, and I can look at the camera parameters, and I can essentially grab this data, this information that we have. So let me let's see. Can I copy this? Copy. So the position is that position. Open up Notepad here. Paste the position here. Go back to the camera. If I was doing some good debugging, I could actually display these values on the screen. Let me copy the view direction, open up Notepad, and paste that there. And this is total hacking debugging, but I'm going to stop the debugger there and go to the camera. And then in the in the constructor here for view direction, I'm going to put these values. I'll just copy this and slam this in here. It's so dirty. I should put this in a config file, something a little bit better than just hard coding it here. But again, this whole project's just a little tinker pad for me to show you some graphic stuff. Eventually, maybe we'll build it up to something more significant. But that's the view direction. And then we need the position. We'll just put that as another initializer here. Position. And position is going to be these values. I'll copy and paste that right there. Put float on in the end of all this. Float there. And float there. And I think we should be good to go. Control F5, build that, run that. And there! There we go. Our camera starts out at a better viewable location. And now we can do some lighting. So on to the next video.